Hi, I'm Jamer Brown Emmert from Daisy Bed Designs, and today I'm going to talk to you about the history, a little history, about the chinoiserie pattern. Did you know that chinoiserie is actually a French word? Chinois means Chinese. And actually, it, this whole design trend of chinoiserie came from the interest, the Westerners were just so fascinated by the lives and how people lived over in India and in Asia in the 17th century. And what brought them even more fascination were products that came to Europe and America through the British East India Trading Company. And you know, they actually sold products to about the fifth largest population of the world. Now that's a lot of people. And what came across was a lot of tea, panels and screens and porcelain. And on these panels, they were quite interesting. They're wooden panels, sometimes glass, and they would have these designs um, painted onto them. And often the screens, you know, a screen is several panels put together. Screens were very important in those days because people used them in their homes. They would put them around the fire to keep the heat in, or they would use it as like another room to separate a room, and that would be a dressing room. So they were very popular. And so these panels ended up being in paintings and English and British paintings, French paintings, and Viennese paintings, and European paintings like to feature these women so lounging, drinking tea, and often these screens and panels would be behind them with images like this of birds and nature. Now, a lot of the motifs in a chinoiserie pattern would include sort of landscapes, um, people resting and of course drinking tea by the river. They would have um, mountains and of course birds, trees and flowers. And actually when porcelain was sort of evolving, they started putting the tea rose on into the design. And as you can see, I have a little tea rose in my chinoiserie mural here. Well, what's interesting, tea became very popular with the women. In England and Britain, it was very, very popular. That was the polite thing to do is to drink tea. Well, what's interesting is the tea came across with the traders who were selling it in these beautiful ceramic tins. And um, they were had painting on the ceramics, of course, but inside the tin, I thought it was kind of interesting. They would have like black tea, green tea and sugar. And these canisters had locks. And so they would lock it up because sugar was so expensive then. Anyway, when, when the tea was so, you know, it was a polite thing to do, having tea and these old ladies sort of lounging. Well, what happened, it became popular also in France and France became one of the most influential uh, design influence in chinoiserie because at the Palais de Versailles, one of the rooms was actually interior designed by a designer and his name was Louis Le, Louis Levant. Not sure if I'm saying that right. But the French, you know, they love decoration, they love fabric. And inside these, um, this room that was interior design, there would be big panels. And of course, the Rococo style, which is very sort of ornate with a lot of gold, they would have all these beautiful gold frames. And inside would be these beautiful paintings like this with also landscapes and the, and the Asian people sitting by the rivers and, you know, anything that was sort of Far Eastern, what we thought was sort of this exotic life in another world. Well, that really sort of started the trend of the chinoiserie and that was really the first sort of interior designed room at the Palais de Versailles. And so, of course, you know the French like to lounge. And of course, I was trying to do a little French style here with my hair. They always like big hair and lots of big dresses. Well, what I like about the chinoiserie style is that it's a classic but it goes with any furniture it looks great with modern furniture it looks great with traditional furniture or even farmhouse chic or boho you know it's like the outside has come in it's just very open we have the birds we have some lemons to make it kind of fun in the design here see we have a lemon here so we've just and we've got the tea roses and birds and so this really looks fantastic on in a hallway looks great in a dining room or even a feature wall in a bedroom really nice you can pull out any of the other colors in this to decorate around it if you want any more other ideas please go to daisybennettdesigns.com if you like this video please share please comment and please subscribe